Hey there, I am Parthoshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So this video is going to be on how we can use snippets and what are the snippets provided in UiPath Studio. So we are going to see different type of snippets available, how they are more useful. So we already have the activities that we use, but some of the things are like we use, use constantly in our different workflows. So we need not drag them every time and configure whatever the properties we want to but we can use the directly available snippets to build our workflow and use them so this video is complete we are not going to build any particular use case or a project in that but just what we are going to do is we are going to explore complete snippets available in ui Park studio so let's get started now by default, when we open a UiPath Studio, we see this particular window. Here we have activities as you can see. And besides that, we can see there are snippets. So now snippets, you see there are different snippets available. Some are samples and some are under the folder called snippets. In advanced, we have counter example, filter collection using link, filter data table using link. In text, we have different kind of snippets that are extract text between labels quick string manipulation split words other are calculator ping monitor so ping monitor is the one where we are where we actually use cmd and try to calculate the difference between the ping so this snippet is about that we'll see some snippets by dragging them into the main workflow window in delay so we use delay activities many times when doing web automation or excel automation or in other cases as well so we every time configure 3000 second milliseconds 3000 seconds or something like that so we do that now you see here the most of the delays that we use in our cases of one second 10 seconds three seconds 100 milliseconds 300 five seconds they're already available over here you did not so many times people get confused while writing the delay in seconds so, so we write 3000 or something we get confused so here you see there are directly snippets available you just drag them use them and your work is done so it simplifies your work work more faster and you need not configure every time so after that we have in loops so in loops also we have for each child for each element in collection for each file in folder this as we see these are most of the snippets that we use in our workflows to build a complete use case or a project you see most of them are already available over here but what we still do is we use activities and every time we do the same thing now here you see repeat with counter for each token process for each matched image this is something a new snippet i saw over here now in orchestration when we are actually using orchestration i don't i didn't really have made any videos on orchestration but while you work on orchestrator orchestration there are different you see over here create external task and suspend till completion create form task and suspend start job resume after one hour five minutes 90 seconds so most of the snippets are also covered over here and which can be useful to build our workflow so you see there are different orchestration snippets available so you see the most of the major tasks that we perform or the activities which we use we already have them over here so let's start exploring some of them let's go with filter data table using link so i've dragged that over here now this is just comment so this is the complete snippet that has been built you can use existing data table object returned from other activity or you can build one from scratch so it's up to us or our use case whatever we are going to use later while using these snippets now we are one data table is already built using the build data table activity in which it has age and sex so now in age there are age of the different people and then there's the sex which defines the gender of the people now suppose you had your own data table you could use that over here you just comment out this activity or delete it and use that after that in selected rows you just change the column name that you want to like filter or something so we use filter data table activity to filter 
different columns and all that here there is a link where you use which makes your workflow more faster since your steps are reduced and there is only one you see assign activity being used which selected rows so now selected rows you see they have the variable type of data row they are not string but they are data row now why data row because what we are doing is we are using the link query and we are selecting only the people who have age greater than 30 and their sex is male now after that you see there is a for each row activity already built for us it is used to get the age now you see the column name age so value now you see get age in this get row item activity now this is the get row item activity that has been kept over here in that we define the row that we are looping through and then we define the column name whose value we want now once we define that we get the value in a variable age that is you see an out argument so you can just simply use that later in the right line activity now you see this complete workflow is built if you use this in your snippet or to filter your data table you just need to change one two parameters that are also the column names if you don't have built data table maybe suppose you are extracting the data of iphone from a flipkart website you have the data table in your extract data table uh, variable after that you want to filter that based on some price you just change one activity of selected rows where you define the column name and the threshold price that you want to keep and that's it it's done you need not configure each of these particular activities you see uh, this small sequence which has been having five actions so in this way filter data table can be useful filter data table using link query snippet can be useful to us now next we see so delay is going to be very simple delay of one second delay of 10 seconds delay of three seconds just drag them they are already configured you need not configure them every time and to avoid the confusion as well quick string manipulation is there over here so if you have some string you are concatenating them you want to trim them sometimes we don't know what are the functions being used to that to do that particular action so if we use snippets we see here we have some functions string concat which is used to concat two different strings stream is used to remove the spaces at the start at the end now substring is used to get a particular substring then replace is used to replace the string so here you see not only it simplifies your task but it also help you helps us to identify different functions or learn about the different functions now after that what we have in loop is for each child so now this is an this can be used in ui automation so when you are doing some ui automation and you want to perform some activity for each child of that particular ui at that case you can use this particular activity uh, this particular snippet so i will try to make one one detailed video on this snippets but right now we are just uh, exploring what snippets are available and what are the uses and how it can make our tasks simpler so here this is used for for each child okay later we have for each file in folder it's just so here what you it selects the folder it is stored in that variable you define the file uh, select folder so you define the path or something in the select folder output is the select folder once you do that you want to perform some actions maybe you want to move that folders from source to destination or something like that or whatever you want to do or you want to copy some files or write a txt file in each of that folder maybe a readme file or something like that you can use this particular snippet so you see there are different many different snippets available for each matched image you see find all images on the screen so what we can do is we can open a chrome image section after that we can indicate that complete screen which has different images and if the image is matched it will return the value over here so in that cases for each matched image can be used then repeat with counter is there so number of repetitions you need to give suppose i'm giving five step number one condition step number one less than number of repetitions. so if you want to repeat some counter 
maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 times, you can use this particular activity. This is already built. So this can also be useful in many cases when we want to iterate through something. In that case, we can use this counter. Maybe we are using a dynamic selector in that you want to increase the counter till a specific number. You can use this variable and do that. And orchestration, yeah, orchestrations are many different activities available. Create task and assign to the user. Okay, let's drag it. Okay, so it is, I'm not able to drag it for some reason. What will I do? So I will drag a sequence first. And then let me try to. Okay, so I don't have the packages installed. It is because of that. Okay. Let me direct this. So this is just a different set of orchestration snippets available over here with us. So yeah, I think we have pretty much explored many snippets in the UI path and how they can be useful to us. So I hope you understood different snippets available in UI path and how it can be useful while building our own process and projects. And maybe you found it useful as well. Please do like, share and comment on the video. If you want me to make video on any specific topics, I would love suggestions from you all. And thank you for watching the complete video. Also, please do subscribe if you haven't done that yet to my YouTube channel, Path Doshi Learning by Doing. Thank you. Also, at the end, I would like to tell that I will try making more detailed videos on each of the snippets we saw in this particular video. So stay tuned by pressing the bell icon. Thank you.